Hello, my name is Talia, and here I am on the online Pokemon Battle Simulator Pokemon Showdown, and today I'm just going to try to get a few Challenge Cup 1v1 games. Challenge Cup 1v1 is a special format. It's a randomized format, and unlike the normal random battles, because it's Challenge Cup, it's more random. The random battles will pick sensible moves for the Pokemon, but the Challenge Cup is just completely random moves. Any any move that the Pokemon can legally learn. So you might end up with really bad move sets like no attacks or well that can occasionally be good, but not in one V one format. Or you might get no same type attack bonus or other problems, but anyway, the 1v1 part of it means that it will only be one Pokemon versus one Pokemon. You'll be given six to choose from, but you could, but each player can only choose one. So it's kind of a, just a fun, uh, low stress format because it is pretty luck dependent, but you can still have some fun with it and try to strategize even if your ability to do so is limited. So I'm just going to see if I can get a couple games. It usually doesn't take too long, but this format isn't the most popular. So, I mean, it's not the least popular, but it's, it's not one of the most popular ones either. Here we go. So, let's look at my Pokemon. This one has very poor stats, so I think I'll probably avoid that. This one has a good attack stat, but its only attack is Focus Punch, which is very unreliable. It, it just could be usable if there isn't a better option. This one is kind of okay. It, ha it has some decent moves, and its attack is workable. This... Mm, the stats aren't very good, and eh, this this could be usable, and this looks, well, its attack is pretty low, so I'm not sure about that one. Um, okay, gotta think about it. Which one do I want? I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Pick the Gyarados, one of the only. It has a good attack stat, so let's hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess I'll just do takedown. And I'll start the timer. Now we just have to wait for the opponent to make their move. Sometimes you'll end up waiting for a while, and I have to admit, there have been times when I've the I've been the one who's kept my opponent waiting for a long time. Well, that damage output wasn't amazing, but for Challenge Cup, it's not too bad, and I got lucky because their Leech Seed just happened to miss me. Oh, speaking of missing, and now there's a leech seed. So I'm being wor I'm going to begin to get, be a little worried that I'm going to get wear worn down both by this leech seed and by the takedown recoil. So I don't know. Maybe I should do a different move, but for now I'm just going to do takedown again. Work up. That's interesting. I wonder what attacking moves he has. Or she has, I guess, because it's a female skiddo. Oh, I missed again. And that razor leaf, oh, I think I'm going to lose this one. Um, I could just go for the Giga Impact. 
was thinking I could use Thunderwave at some point, but at this point, I think I'm just going to do that. Almost guaranteed to lose. Yeah, actually, I already lost. So, yeah. Yeah, this is... I don't know if there's something I could have done differently that would make it make me win, because this is a pretty luck-dependent format, but maybe I did. I'm not sure if I made some wrong choices, but let's just try another battle. They kind of get some bad luck with those takedown misses, though. Though, to be fair, its accuracy is only 85%, which I didn't realize. Okay, this could be interesting. Glade has a very high attack stat, but its only attacking move is Fury Cutter, so that might not work out too well. Quick Claw could be useful. This has... This actually looks pretty good. It has acrobatics and power whip to work off of its good attack stat. It actually has a same type attack bonus move, which is very nice. And this, well, thrash might be useful, but mm, the other moves mostly look useless, except maybe focus energy. This, eh, kind of bad stats. Um, Thunder Punch, Rock Slide doesn't look too bad. And this one also has Power Whip. Doesn't have quite as high attack stat. I think... I don't know. I'm I'm just going to try Sarina and hope that it works. Okay, Squirtle. This could work out well for me unless they have some sort of nasty... Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, so I won that one pretty easily. Now didn't I... <laughs> there are a lot of times in this format when you can win in one turn. Well, not maybe not not extremely common, but definitely not very rare either. <laughs> yeah, it does sometimes take a little bit to find a battle. They used to, there used to be this bot that was always on the ladder. So if no one else was around, you would get that bot. But I haven't seen that bot recently, so I don't know what's up with that. Okay, let's see. This Gar Top could be usable. Um, Bulldoze and Brutal Swing and a pretty good attack stat all are promising. I just hope that the opponent doesn't choose Obama Snow and it has a ice-type move or anything like that. But its, base, its moves don't seem to have a very high base power. Frustration could have a high base power or it could have a very low base power. You can't really tell because it doesn't tell you the base power. Um, this, um, it has a good special attack stat, but only one special move. Nah, this doesn't, this doesn't look particularly good. Neither does this one. Uh, eh, it has a few good moves, and this, eh, mm, kind of good, maybe. I think I'm going to try the Garchomp. Oh, no. I just hope it doesn't have an ice type move, but with my luck, well, the frustration of base power is a little higher, so I guess I'll just do that. But I'm anticipating that I'm going to lose this one rather quickly. Oh, well, huh. That's a bit of a strange choice. I wonder if it was a misclick or something. I'm hoping that this doesn't have any ice type moves. Oh well, it is it is a very weak move, but it's too late. It's still too much for me. So yeah, not my... Not my best day so far, but not the worst either. Let's, let's go for another one.
Hmm. I'm going to refresh just in case. Yeah, because I might have disconnected from the server. All right, here we go. Oh, all my po most of my Pokemon look pretty small, which is kind of funny. Eh, not good stats. Also bad stats. Pretty bad stats. Um, also bad stats, except for defense. Okay, so Blastephalon is the only good one, but its moves I'm not so sure about. Okay, I'm not in a great... There are some times when you just won't get any good Pokemon, which can be frustrating. Ooh, I think I'm just going to... What does Mind Blown do again? Could try mind blown, I guess. I just wanted to check and make sure that mind blown wasn't a suicide move because that would mean that I would lose. Because it's kind of confusing, like, if you hit with double edge and you knock yourself out, for example, then you'd win, but I'm pretty sure that explosion just makes you lose, which I, I think it makes sense because with explosion, you're exploding first before you do damage, but with double edge, you're first damaging the opponent and then you get damaged. So it does make a certain amount of set sense, but uh, at first I didn't realize it. Okay, so that was another one-hit battle, which isn't surprising since it's weak to fire-type moves. And just the icing on the cake is that it was a critical hit, which I'm sure wasn't necessary in any way, shape, or form. Alright, so I think that's enough for today. Thanks for watching.